cable access, Channel 62 presents Men on Film. Hello, I'm Blaine Edward. And I'm Antoine Mayweather. And, and welcome, welcome to Men on Films, Films, the show that looks at movies from a male point of view. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored by... Nuts and honey. What'd you say? Nut and honey. <laughs> I bet you can't eat just one. I bet I could. <laughs> Tonight we'll be wrapping up the summer films. First up is the box office smash, Total Recall. Yes, this is the movie where muscle bound Arnold Schwarzenegger goes in search of his past. Just a hint, Arnold, try looking in the closet. <laughs> Next, we have Betsy's Wedding. Hey, the dead. <laughs> then there's Ghost. You know, Patrick Swayze was the real standout in this film. You know, I'd breathe life into his spirit any day. <laughs> Even if I did have to go through Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Perish the thought. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now we come to Dick Tracy. You know, I love the title, but the movie just left me limp. <laughs> I know what you're saying. This is this is what I don't get. Mm -hmm. All the characters fit their names. You know, Flat Top had a flat top. Mm -hmm. Prune face looked just like a little prune. But I never got the chance to see. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> oh. Then there's Pretty Woman. Hated it. <laughs> this one should have been called a fish called Julia. Ooh. Next, Eddie Murphy was back in another 48 hours. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry, this movie just got off on the wrong track. I feel that they should have spent more time where the real story is, mm -hmm. in the prisons. I'd like to see more about them old sweaty men's all together in them tiny little cells with no one to turn to but each other's. Ooh, drop this. I get it. <laughs> then we come to Spike Lee's Mo Better Blues. I'm sorry I didn't care for it. It just didn't put no toot in my horn. I'm sorry, but I like this one. I mean, little Spike Lee outdone himself this time. He really stretched out in a dual role as both the lead character's manager and love interest. Oh, he was okay as the manager, but ooh, he just thrilled me to death in those gripping love scenes with big old handsome Denzel Washington. What courage it must have taken for little Spike Lee to take off them glasses and let that little hair get knotty and say, hey, this is me, here I am. See me, love me. Hello, put the car in park. The love interest was played by Spike Lee's little sister. Yeah. <gasps> well, touch me in the morning and then just walk away. No, I think you should go see this again, then you tell me who's who. Yeah, well, you can go without me. Twan. Don't get mad, Twan. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we have Die Harder. What a way to go. 90 minutes with Mr. Bruce Willis. Oh, yes, don't tempt my tummy with the taste of nuts and honey. <laughs> You know, the only thing I didn't understand was all the violence in the film, because the title suggested a love story. Mm -hmm. I second that emotion. I think this one still deserves the new and improved two snaps, a twist, twist and a kiss. kiss. <laughs> Can't touch this. Well, that's our 
Arts Show. Next week, we'll be looking at Air America, starring Mel Gibson and Lil Robert Downey Jr.'s. Pilot to co-pilot, we're going down in flames. <laughs> Bye now.